Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to solve this problem. What we have is the black structure here is a very crudely drawn uh, shutoff valve. So think of it like the water department or something. There's a big valve and you have to give it you know, some, some force uh, with your hand to shut the water off to a, to a neighborhood or something like that. And the length of the handle, for lack of a better word, is a quarter of a meter, 0.25 meter. The height of the kind of the stem here, the way I've drawn it here obliquely, this is the height of the stem here, which is 0.4 uh, meters. And you kind of have to use your imagination because it's a three-dimensional picture, but you see how the projection of this down in the XY plane uh, is given to us. So the angle that this thing is currently setting is 30 degrees with respect to the Y axis. Uh, and what else? We have a force that's applied to the end of the handle, and the force is actually already conveniently given to us in terms of a Cartesian vector. So we don't have to derive the force, we actually have half of the problem solved right now, we already have the force. And um, so we're applying uh, with a force. Now notice though that this force has a component in I, J, and K. So this is really an arbitrary force. It's not, it's not purely in the XY plane, uh, like you'd be thinking, uh, that you'd be trying to open or close this thing. It actually has, has also an upward component to it. So you're kind of, you're wasting some of your effort in turning this uh, by nature of the way that you're angling some of your force up in addition to some of it uh, being purely in the XY plane here. And the question we're asking is what is the component of the moment that's developed about the Z axis, about the Z axis? So we know that there's gonna be a moment developed about O here but we want to figure out, because the whole object is to turn this thing, right? It's a valve. So we want to figure out how much of the moment is aligned in the K direction or the Z direction. Because if you're designing something, you might want to know how much of the moment you're applying uh, is actually going to be in the direction that I care about to, to open this valve, let's say. So the strategy here is, we already know what F is. We're going to figure out what the total moment is that's developed at the point O which is going to basically tell it that if this thing were not moving at all, which way would the rotation be intended be induced uh, at O and by the moment that's developed there. And then we're going to take that and we're going to dot it in the direction that we care about because it's saying how much of the component is along the Z axis. So this is I, J, and K. Ultimately, we're going to take that moment and we're going to dot it in the K direction to find out how much of that rotational moment is aligned up in that direction. So the big, big picture is we're trying to first calculate a moment developed about the point O, and we already know that that's R cross F. Now the good news is we already know what F is, and we don't have to do anything to it. It's already given to us in Newtons. What this means is uh, there's 60 Newtons of force 